How long have you had your dye? Uh, I've had my dread for 15 years in October. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so last October? This October oh, will be so 15 will be years. Okay. Yeah. So just shy of 15 years. Just shy. Um, so, um, and before that, did you have long hair? Before that, I had a full head of hair, yeah, natural hair, um, curly, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, and uh, so what kind of gave you the inspiration to kind of roll off your sleeve a little bit? Well, I've been thinking about it for over a year now. Um, it's something that I wanted to, you know, ensure that it was a decision I wanted to make um, prior to making it. Mm -hmm. um, and ideally, I want to be able to help as many kids in need, you know, to get the treatment, um, medication, and the research that needs to be done for childhood cancer as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to raise quite a lot. Can you say how much you're trying? I'm trying to raise a hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot. Yeah. It's it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why did you come up with such an um, ambitious amount? Uh, I think that's just who I am as a person. Um, I want to help as many people as I can, you know, as many kids as possible. And when I started to look at figures and how much it costs for just an hour worth of treatment or a day worth of treatment, um, it's fairly expensive. So you're looking at fifty dollars for just one day. Mm -hmm. um, so if we're, you know, making a decision, I wanted to ensure that you know I was helping as many kids as possible. And will you shave it all off? Completely, yes. Will you shave it off? I'll shave it off completely, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um, so that's going to feel weird because I imagine like it's quite heavy, your hair, right? Yeah, my hair is very heavy. It's definitely going to be an experience, mm -hmm. um, one that I know I'm ready for. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to embrace it. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a bit about... Um, your everyday life? My everyday life, yep. Yeah. Um, I work at under Child and Family Services mm -hmm. at the Residential Treatment Center, mm -hmm. which is basically the government group home. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I am full time. Mm -hmm. Outside of work, I enjoy going to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, I also used to play football, so to give back in that regard, I coach uh, U15 at BA, mm -hmm. uh, boys team, which I thoroughly enjoy. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm just an average 29-year-old, I guess. Okay. So you're quite active then? Yeah, I'm pretty active. And so that's going to really, you're going to really feel that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, all right, uh, let's see what I need to go from here. And have you ever done anything like this before, any sort of charitable? No, I've never done anything like this before. Um, definitely be my first time in actually doing something like this on my own, um, making the decision you know, on my own, um, and it's been a journey. <laughs> and when do you have to get all your pledges by? Well, the actual event takes place on March 16th at Duck Siders from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. My goal is to reach that 100,000 mark prior to the start of the event. Mm -hmm. And what's your uh, action plan? Action plan, I've contacted um, a few people in regards to locations that host a potluck. Mm -hmm. um, I've drafted a letter to explain what it is I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and the, you know the financial amount that I'm trying to reach that I plan to um, present to several exam companies, um, people who I feel will be inspired to donate and support the course. I'm gonna look to have you know a car wash, a bake sale, and possibly, hopefully, to. Um, come in contact with anybody that has been directly affected by anybody with childhood cancer, a survivor, or somebody that you know is currently in treatment. What amount have you raised so far? To date, I have sixteen hundred. And would you say that your work at the um, <laughs> the family child and family services has kind of brought a lot of these things to your attention more? Um, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going to be honest, I had to do my own research because mm -hmm. um, I've never been personally affected by um, anyone with childhood cancer. Mm -hmm. So I did have to do my own research. But I think um, the fact that I'm so willing to help others and that I genuinely love kids mm -hmm. um, made it a very easy decision for me to make. How long have you been, um, how long have you been with Child and Family Services? 
three years. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been coaching kids? This will be my second year coaching kids. Mm -hmm. And have you ever worked with children before? Not, not hands on, no. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, not in a full time setting. Mm -hmm. um, I've helped with, you know, f soccer camps mm -hmm. where I had to coach uh, several kids, but that would be about it. How many siblings do you have? Three younger brothers. Um, and have you sort of, would you say that you've had benefit, like have you had good health all your life? For the most part, um, I think at the age of 16 I was hospitalized for about two to three weeks for kidney failure. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I used that experience as a way of being able to understand, I guess, how the kids are, um, you know, em emotionally, mentally and stuff. Because although I was very sick, I was very happy mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted I just wanted the assistance, you know, I just wanted to get better. So um, I used that experience as a way to mm -hmm. push me forward as well. And then you said it was March 16th. 16th, yeah. So you've got not quite two months. 52 days. 52 I think. days. <laughs>